Hi folks, Steve here again uh, from Boss Trailers. Uh, we are doing the interior video of a 169 VRK. It's a 2021 model. Uh, let's talk about the spec again. 22 foot, 1 inch, that's including the tongue. So about 18 and a half foot of box. 7 and a half foot wide. Uh, rear kitchen, walk around queen size bed at the front. Construction is incredible. Fiberglass roof, plywood deck floor. Top, top, top. But the weight is interesting, 3,600 pounds, so it can be towed with a smaller vehicle. So, it's not a big trailer. There are some very interesting features here. That walk around queen size bed at the front is definitely a plus. But the kitchen is as well. Now look at everything you get for kitchen in such a small trailer. So, and that's where we'll start, I guess. So, a two burner stove, yes. A range hood that's vented outside. A lot of storage for your, for your dishes here. Tons and tons of uh, storage. And... You, uh, you don't have to think that you're going to need to put your food out there because there's a pantry as well in here. And more storage right here, more storage down here. In fact, that's probably where I put I would put a little waste basket and garbage can. And underneath the sink for your pots and pans. A little bit more on this side. And two drawers, plywood made, ball bearing hardware, the whole thing stands or extends right out. Uh, full size fridge, so folks, this is the optional 7 cubic foot gas electric fridge. So the trend lately has been 12 volt fridge alone, but if we have the options of putting a gas electric, that's the way we would uh, do it on those smaller trailers because uh, we like to dry camp ourselves. Um, microwave and oven. So this is a convection microwave. It does both. There's an element in here and it will cook a, a chicken, but it will also warm up your food. Uh, just like a microwave would. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. A very decent sized pantry and four hooks for your coats. Now, there's trailers that are twice the length here and they don't even offer that. So, they actually manage to fit all of this in here. A little cubby hole on the top. This is where your controls are right here as well. And another little cubby hole on the bottom. So, your converters right there by the entrance. All your fuse and your breaker are down there. Boot is in the slide out, 40 inches inch wide, so four adults can sit here, no problem. Very comfortably, perfect to place some cards, big window, pleated shades on all of the blinds, or pleated blinds on all of the windows, I should say, except for, of course, the one in the kitchen that will be an aluminum blind as it is a fire hazard and it needs to be uh, made out of, uh, not made out of fabric. Um, what I really like about those uh, those benches is the back cushion is actually wrapped around in the wood so they're not moving. Really like that. Storage underneath. On both sides you have access. Now counter. With the, we didn't talk about the counter but it is thermal foil so they use heat to uh, give it a particular shape and there is no edge. So no damage. Uh, coming from the water on the kitchen counter and same goes for the table here Okay, now there is a step so people say ah, I don't like the step Well, the step hides the wheel well There is a wheel well under this trailer because they actually build the floor lower than the actual wheel itself So there's a wheel well in here. There's one in the bathroom in the cabinet in the bathroom and that only um, Makes us go through two steps to get in Unlike most trailers that will have three step to get in. So it's much lower. It will tow a lot nicer. It's not a stall. It's not going to get affected by the wind as much. Across from the dinette is our bathroom. So we have a shower here. I'm five foot eight and there's still another foot above my head if not more. Uh, it's, it's, it's more than adequate. They have a nice little curtain. A decorative curtain. There's a liner. Uh, it's perfect. There's a skylight as well. Uh, the one thing I really like is the stainless steel sink in, on the vanity here. It's actually big enough. And I love this little extra counter you put to the side so it's a perfect spot to, you know, leave your shaving kit or your toothbrush in a cup, you know, or for everybody as a matter of fact. Little shelf, we talked about that uh, wheel well. Well, that's the little shelf right there. So perfect for a waste bin, maybe even a hamper for your dirty laundry or anything else. It's actually, you could probably stack some towels if you want. There's a medicine cabinet. There's a foot flush porcelain toilet, so just like at home. Oh, made out of porcelain. Our controls are right here on the wall. There's a power fan and there's a motion detector light in the bathroom. So you can actually 
uh, turn the switch on to stay on permanently or if you want using the motion on it so that would be the way I would set it up now on this little wall there's a couple of things one of the thing is the level mate pro this little uh, gizmo will um, connect to your uh, an app on, that you download on your phone and it will tell you when you are level so it'll tell you when you level side to side and front to back so no more argument with the wife now below is a new thing for this year uh, they call it the tire link basically it's ready to receive an extra component that would be uh, a little uh, device that you'd be uh, connecting on here that will uh, talk to the the valve stem and it would monitor your tire pressure and again that thing would talk to your phone you download the app on your phone and there you go so if one of the tire gets low uh, your phone may start beeping telling you uh, low air in one of the tire so it's great it's ready for it if you want we can order the parts and install them for you now for the pièce de résistance the walk around queen size bed um, really like it the front window uh, it just doesn't make the trailer looks nice at the front it's actually pretty damn nice there is an accordion blind in here and the one thing I like the most is when you're laying there and uh, you're looking out through the window you can actually see the stars at night it's pretty nice uh, they cut the shirt closet to accommodate a little space behind that little space is perfect for a glass of water a book you're reading uh, your alarm clock your CPAC machine and there's even a power outlets right here 110 and on the other side USB talking about those uh, shirt closet uh, they were installed first so there's a lot of heights and they actually use real bar in them now Adventure RV provides you with an extra cushion because you can no longer remove the back cushion on the dinette so if you want to use the table and convert it into a bed they provide you with an extra cushion uh, for it what I do like about it is uh, they're actually uh, making the cushion reversible so fabric on one side and a sort of a vinyl on the other side and I really like the quality and the feel of it so if you get little ones coming in you can actually use the cushion with the vinyl side and but if you're uh, if you want the softer uh, material on the cushion you can just flip the cushion around so pretty nice now let's get back to our uh, to our bed here this little room has a window on each side this one opens pretty large another one opens as well uh, LED lights uh, above the head one for the main room and this is where your TV is located it's actually connected already to the uh, AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth USB auxiliary HDMI that is located by the kitchen so you put a movie in there uh, it will play out here so and it's on an arm you can swing it around a little bit it's just a little tight but it still works it's kind of nice uh, there's uh, an extra outlets power outlets above now this bed is on gas struts it lifts up and that will give you some extra storage now the bed base is made out of plywood I really like that they don't uh, they don't go halfway when most manufacturer put the OSB there these guys they put uh, plywood and same with underneath uh, the benches here plywood and that board is actually you can lift it up as well to have access to the storage underneath even though you have access at the front and it's half inch plywood so folks nice little trailer again uh, 3600 pounds extremely towable if you got a, a 5000 pound towing capacity this is a trailer you want behind uh, you don't need to compromise and have a bed in the corner there is a walk around queen size bed in here full size bathroom and a kitchen it's incredible all the storage that we have in here so folks, uh, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.